One of the players I've been studying a lot lately is Paul George, and he's one of the best in the NBA at driving in a straight line. So on this clip here, watch how he starts his drive. He's going to drive to his right hand, and right at this moment, you can see his left shoulder gets into the body of his primary defender. His hips are at the rim. His shoulders are at the rim right there. Everything is moving towards the rim so he can play in that straight line. When you watch really good drivers and downhill attackers, you see them play in straight lines with always their hips and shoulders at the rim. And this really stands out in Paul George's film. Inside out move. Now watch his shoulder right here get into the body of his primary defender and cut off that angle. He veers in his defender's path right there with a nice inside hand finish. This is against Herb Jones, one of the best defenders in the NBA, especially on the ball. And you can see his left shoulder gets into Herb Jones and then takes away that angle right there with that high pickup out from his body and plays in that straight line. Once again, watch his inside shoulder right here. Right there, you can see his shoulder gets into the body of his primary defender and he can play in that straight line for the highlight dunk. He's so good at bumping his defender too. So we've talked about playing in that straight line, getting his hips and his shoulders at the rim, and getting that inside shoulder into the body of his primary defender. Now watch how he bumps his defender right here. He bumps him again right there to knock him off his path, and now he can finish right at the rim. There's a lot of key skills here you're seeing from Paul George when he's playing in this straight line. Starting with his shoulders getting into the body and his shoulders getting downhill. He doesn't allow his body to go into a closed stance. So on this clip right here, he turns the corner. You can see he's in an open stance with everything going towards the rim. You'll see players a lot playing a closed stance with your right foot here and your left foot here and your shoulders towards turn towards the sideline and not playing square at the rim. This is from OKC when he averaged 28 a game that year, 18-19 season. Watch this drive again. From the break, sweeps through. He gets that shoulder bump right there. Same foot, same hand finish, and one. You can see that bump he had right there in Andrew Wiggins. Now, another thing you really watch and see from Paul George is he plays in this sprinter stance a lot with his right foot forward, his left foot back, or he'll flip his hips. So left foot forward, right foot back. But right here, watch how he bumps Wiggins right there. And now he takes away the space and now he can finish at the rim. He is always eating up the space against his defender. Great touch right there versus the rotating shot blocker. Once again, you're gonna see this bump right here. And that creates the foul right there so he can go finish and one. Right there, that bump he has against his primary defender, and then he can finish through the contact. Gets his hips and his body square to go straight line drive right there. He takes away the angle right there against Joe Ingles to get his shoulders in front, and now he can right-left Euro step against Rudy Gobert. This is a great clip to show his shiftiness in his live ball moves right here. Starts his straight line drive right there. He gets his shoulder into his primary defender right there. That's a great example of getting your body into your defender to cut off that angle, and then he can finish on the other side of the rim. Paul George is great with finishing against and creating contact when he's driving downhill. He's really good at getting his veer steps down so he can find the contact against that defender, either a drop defender or against his primary defender. So in these clips, you're going to see him start his drive. Now watch how he takes a long step with his right foot right there. Now his left foot is going to get into the body of Steven Adams right there, who's the drop defender on that ball screen. And now since he gets into the body, he can time his jump, Paul George can, to finish over the length of Steven Adams and against his body. Right here against the ball screen switch. Watch how he goes straight line. He goes right left right there with that long step you can see it's slow down steps right there his body's into jared allen and then he can time his jump and he can finish over top with that hanger now anytime you see him go up to shoot with two hands off one foot right there where he hangs in the air that's what i call a hanger 
one dribble right here. Now he gets his shoulder into the body. You can see that right left step slows it down. And that one's a runner where it's one hand off his inside foot right there. He gets great arc and drop angle every time he shoots a hanger or a runner like on that last one. One dribble, right, left, veer steps, slow down steps to be on balance. That's one of the other keys here is he's always on balance with this so he can finish with great arc and drop angle. Once again, watch all these hangers he's shooting right here. So on two clips before, watch where the ball hits on the way up. It is hitting above the square right there, high and soft so it can drop right in. Now watch this one, another veer hanger. High and soft right there. It hits right there, high and soft, and can drop right in the rim. Now, this is another great clip right here of watch these slow down steps. He takes right, left. He gets his shoulder into the body of his primary defender, and then he can hang in the air right there, and he can shoot it high and soft again, and it can hit right off the glass. One of Paul George's go-to moves to create space for a three is his between-the-leg snatch back. So he's going to start his drive, and you can see he's going to lunge with his left foot right there to sell that downhill drive. He's going to reverse between the legs right here, so left to right. And now he's going to bounce off his left foot right here. He goes one, two step to create the separation and to get his balance. The key is to get in that stack position and sell that downhill drive. So let's watch this clip again. Once he starts his drive, you can see ball and inside foot hit at the same time. Now his right foot is going to lunge. You can see the ball's in his right hand. He's in that stack position. He's going to reverse between the legs right there with that quick hop to find his balance. You're going to see him quick hop or see him step right back. So watch this example right here. He sells that downhill lunge. Now watch how his right foot steps right back to his left. He's on balance right here and can shoot right over top his primary defender. He's so good at stopping and starting and selling that downhill lunge. You're going to hear me say that a lot in this video breakdown because that is the key right here. You have to sell that downhill lunge. You can see right there, look, his shoulder gets contact with his primary defender like you saw in an earlier video breakdown about Paul George. And watch how he's in that lunge stack position right here. His defender is retreating to beat him to the next spot. So because of that, he can quickly bounce back with that between the legs snatch, get on balance and shoot right over top his primary defender. And he gets his feet set very quickly from going from that lunge to that position to shoot the ball on balance. Thus far, we've talked about his between the legs snatch back. Now let's watch his crossover. So you can see the ball is going to cross over and that creates the separation he needs. But a couple important skills and micro skills for this move right here so watch how he's flinching to get downhill right there with his shoulders and that sells that his downhill drive he's going to drive right right there and that sells it so now he can snatch the ball back right there and that crossover he goes one two footwork and that creates a bunch of separation into his move so watch how he's always trying to sell that downhill drive once again watch this watch his shoulders right there that little flinch right there sells that he's going downhill. His defender is going to retreat. Then he can quickly snatch the ball back in that crossover. This is an excellent example right here. Watch how shifty he is with the ball. Between, he sells it. That little flinch he has right there. Watch this again. Right there. That flinch is all he needs. Now he's going to flinch again right there. His defender retreats back. He can cross over snatch back into that three. Once again, he sells that downhill drive and it's so quick. Now we've talked about him stopping on that outside foot and then snatching the ball back. Now let's watch his cross step, which is going to be his inside foot. Ball and inside foot are going to hit at the same time. He's going to go between the legs. His defenders are retreating back and now he can create the space he needs to get off another type of creating space three. Ball and foot hits at the same time right there. You can see his foot is lunging downhill. He's in that stack position. His defender is starting to retreat to cut off his driving angle, and he can hop back to a three now. 